hey hey beautiful babes it's your girl sweet angel today's video yeah i hate to do it but my least favorite part of my body mm -hmm. that's my feet i hate my ugly feet but you know i have to work on them in order to make them look better so today we're gonna start doing a pedicure right here i'm gonna show you how i kind of do my pedicure i start with clean feet of course i soak my feet before beginning this process and i'll link a video for you on my favorite foot soak as well now right here i am just taking my make art drill in order to clean around the cuticle area of my toes yes you do need to get rid of the dead skin around your toes just like you do your fingers you know trying to make them look a little bit more presentable and y'all i know i don't have the cutest feet so please don't tell me make sure you file and shape your nails on your toes make them look cute yes i had on this purpley looking nail polish about time out for it i wanted to freshen it up just a little bit so here i'm just changing out the drill bit because i really need to get really close in under that cuticle area all of the information all of the products will be listed below on what i am using so you can check out the description box for that and i'm just taking my time because girl it's a struggle trying to get these big legs up here to to work on these toes but you know you have to do it because i don't really like folks touching all on my feet i have tried it time and time again but i'm back to doing it myself so i am just trying to get all of the nail polish from out of the crevices on my toes i know this may be a little disgusting for some so honey if you can handle it if you cannot handle it exit the video like right now but you know we got to work on these feet and uh i'm gonna do this today so i'm only going to do my right foot on camera and the left foot i'll take care of after the video is over so you don't have to worry about seeing but one of my ugly feet one of them okay and uh i'm going around again trying to clear clear out all of the dead skin um the cuticle area i also push my cuticles back on my toes as well as on my fingers so um this nail polish is is kind of dark so you don't want to especially if you're going to put on a lighter shade which i am going to do that i want to make sure everything is out of the way out of the crevices getting all of that taken care of right now oh yeah So once all of that's done, then I proceed to use the acetone nail polish remover that I use. I only use the 100% acetone. For some reason, I don't even care to use just regular nail polish. I want to make sure that I get all of this crud off my toes, okay? Off my fingers, wherever I'm removing nail polish from. So make sure I do that. Yeah, I started on my nails too, okay? <laughs> well, I was just trying to kind of clear it off a little bit. And the next thing I use is this Avon Footworks. This is great for, uh, they have callus removers, they have foot lotion, they have for achy feet, everything, a whole line of great products. And I also shave the hair off my toes. Do you grow hair in your toes? Disgusting. I don't know why it's there, but I do shave my toes. And now I'm just going in with this cuticle pusher and cleaning out even further around my toes and cleaning out from under my toenails to get any dirt dead skin all of that stuff off y'all know this has to be done right you know you got to do this right it's not going to go away by itself but honey i'm just keeping it real you gotta take care of your foots okay and my daughter maddie she always says mom you got some ugly feet girl if you've been walking on your feet for 55 years you check them out and see what they're gonna look like i can't help it okay and back in the day i used to always wear the pointed toe shoes and honey my foot just grew like that so don't worry about it they work they good we gucci no problem <laughs> i'm carrying on here y'all just getting this toe right here 
I'm buffing it now, just cleaning it up, making it renewed and refreshed and the nail back smooth and bright and clean looking because nail polish can seep into the toenails, make them look dull and, and, and stained. So I'm just cleaning it all off right now and getting it back bright and nice. You see what I'm doing? Do you see the change of the color of that toenail? It's now back to a more brightened color. Yes, I am loving this drill, y'all. I use this drill regularly, so I know we're going to burn it out because Maddie does the same. It is awesome sauce. And to clean off the drill bits, I just simply either, uh, first I'll soak them in some acetone to clear out all of the uh, nail polish and so forth. And then I'll soak them in alcohol to actually sanitize them. So that's what I do there. So I am just buffing away here, back to the drill, doing all the toenails just like buffing, drilling, cleaning out the cuticles, cleaning underneath, filing and shaping up. It takes this kind of work, you know. You know, they say beauty is pain and pain is beauty but you know what this ain't painful it is painful if you don't get these suckers cleaned up though but you got to make sure you do that and disinfect your feet and keep them looking as cute as possible even when you got ugly feet like mine honey do it <laughs> do it well i ain't mad at my feet i just thank god for some feet i can walk on i'm just happy about that okay so i'm gonna take care of what i got that's for sure not a problem girl i'm working now this is this is some work now it is some work because shoot i tell you what trying to get these big legs up here working on these things is something else and today y'all of course you know mikey d he works in the kitchen he works outside and today is his outside day so he is cutting the backyard and trimming trees and all that good stuff so mind you listen to him work and just say thank you jesus <laughs> absolutely not a problem let me just carry on here and get this foot done and yes as mentioned earlier all of the products tools everything that i'm using will be listed in the description box for you make sure you check under the video if you're on your phone just click on the title flip your phone long ways and check out all the great information in the description box you'll find a lot of stuff there so make sure you're checking it out yes indeed and in the meantime and in between my toes <laughs> just kidding in between time go ahead and subscribe to the channel lots of things coming your way so be right here at Life with Sweet Angel. This is my life. These are my ugly feet. And we just keeping it real, baby. <laughs> now here I'm just applying my world famous beautiful nail oil. Yes, it's going to moisturize and restore all that great moisture that your toenails need, your feet need, your cuticles need. You know, during all this process that you've been removing and applying the acetone and all of that stuff. So, this is great for that. And uh, guess what? It's time to paint the nails. Yes, yes. And beautiful babes. I'm using some Kiara Scott Professional Nail Lacquer in Romantic Coral on my toes today. So, this is not a gel nail polish. It's just a regular nail polish. And uh, it takes time to dry, so make sure you give it about two minutes in between each coat to make sure that it's good and set. So there you go. This is the shade that I'm using this time. I love this color. I love it so much. It is so, so pretty. And I think it complements my skin tone, so I love it a lot. Absolutely, I do. Just taking my time to get these nails on my toes whipped into shape every week more than likely i'll try to do my toes pretty much every week or if not every two weeks this is the quick dry top coat it is from mia secret and it gives a nice gloss 
to the nails and also gets them to dry quickly. And guess what, beautiful babies? After this coat of nail polish, we are finito. Here is the before and after, and nails are done on one foot, and now it's time to tackle the other one. Absolutely. I want to thank y'all so much for stopping by, beautiful babes. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share your girl with your world. Y'all know I appreciate everything, don't you? Absolutely. Y'all take care until next time. Bye.